Okay, we're back from the quarry, and we're going to show you some of the heat treating that we do with the flint ridge flint. This is a kill that I use. It holds about four buckets of flint, and uh, the flint temperatures range from 400 to 600 degrees in temperature. So all different flints uh, have different uh, temperatures that they will heat at, and uh, the more silica, the less heat. The more translucent, the more pure, the less heat it will take to, and the grainier, churdier flints take a little higher heat. So we'll open this and we'll look at some of the flints that will come out that we dug the other day. And these are some of the colors that came out of that pit. And this, uh, actually I got a couple here that will show you the difference from this is a better example of it, but see some of the variations of colors. And so this is what we're going to have. And when I pull them out of the kill, I test every piece. And I, I may not test them here, all, I might take them over to another area, but when I test them like that, you can see the enhanced colors. All the whites turn more milky, all the yellows and pinks turn more red. And some yellows in there too. So I'll put these out and you can see what, with the mud and everything on them. Here's a piece that has a, is a, a higher grade flint that I heated at the same temperature. What I do is I just cut it down where it does not ruin the higher grades and still has the churdy flint is workable a lot. And, and if that doesn't work, I, I reheat them. So you can see that's more of a caramely just a higher grade flint. You can see it's got just uh, better silica. And the other thing about uh, when I uh, heat, start heating this, I put the flint in and I get the, it, I take about a 250 degrees, I run it up in within an hour to that point because that does not uh, destroy the flint at that low a temperature. So I hold it for like five to ten hours to dry it better. And then I run at 25 degrees an hour till it uh, comes to like 500, and this particular flint is 535 degrees. So it takes about 30 to 35 hours to do that whole process. And, it's, and then the cooling off period with four buckets, it takes about two days to cool it down before I can test it. Uh, and then even this is like a bigger piece, you know, it, it, uh, you can turn it up pink like that all the way through if you want to, but see it has more of a, that's the color that it is underneath the, the outer layer. And here's a green piece, you can see some of the green showing through, and over here it does not show, but when you flake it, it'll come through. Well, that is not going to be green at that end, evidently. But a lot of it, a lot of times, until you flake it off, you can't even tell it's green until, but this piece did have the green in it, so that's, then I take the pieces that will make small points, just about everything that is not will I, I bring home because everybody likes something different, you know, some bigger pieces, smaller pieces. This is a white one. I'll flake this in a little bit so you can see. Some of the white flint. And it just, it has a similar white text just outside. But. And it takes a while to unload it. Now here's a piece that pot -lit it. It was out toward the coils and you can see when these kills keep hitting that on off, on off, it finally gives in. And a lot of times when you have these here, you also get heat cracks inside. So we'll check this in a little bit to see if it does have it. It doesn't seem to. You can see it is a smooth, uh, silky looking. That's some of the really fine napper, not in flint. But I go through, pull it out, and I sit down and test every piece. If I fall or or nap it because even 
it looks good outside, it may have flaws inside. And most of this here, as I can see, has heated pretty well. From, and I'm sure as I get down in there, we'll find pieces that aren't as uh, maybe more high grade and did not hold. Okay, well, some of these plants that I put in here are, are pretty much lapidary rock, capping, and tumble rock, rough. So I got a bucket, I usually stick all those in separate. Then I see in here we have some of the greens, and uh, you can see some of the little bit of the greens and blues. And again, another one, this is cap rock with the very top. And a lot of times this here will not heat at the same temperature that the church will, so I'll flake it a little bit just to see if it, it seemed to do pretty well. Because the reds and the whites just got glossier. And I thought this one might have green, but I do not see any of it in there. So there's a piece that I slabbed, and that mostly all blue, a little bit of the green around the edge and on this side. So slabs take about the same temperature. It seems slabs might take a little more temperature than the unslapped ones for some reason, I don't know, is it the oil or the saw running through it. But you can see a lot of the, the reds and is right in there and the greens. Is and even the small pieces, like the, this one here, the great colors it has inside. And you see it just, it, it's slick and it's got green underneath that orange. This is a, a type of flint that a lot of times, uh, while heating, will not take even 500 degrees, and it, uh, sometimes will just heat crack. And and it did right there. You can see it. It did a little bit. So I don't know if this one will even be good. Take another flake. Yeah, this is no good. If you look real close, it's got like little fingernail cracks all through it. And it's a great piece of flint, it just isn't going to gnat. And that's the, the big thing that, that's why I test every piece I pull out of the kill. There's some more green. All kinds of different colors come out. It takes me a while to unload it because of all the little just the, you know, the lapidary pieces and like that one. Okay, as I'm pulling them out, there's a, a piece that will have a lot of color in it for lapidary. It's got, it'll have reds and uh, greens under some of that orange. So that's a good one for lapidary. And if it's not lapidary, it's tumble. And that looks like it's not much at all, but it has green underneath the, the oranges. And so I heat everything together, lapidary rock, and it brings out more colors for lapidary, just like it does for napping. There's more flakes. More just greens. And I, I thin them down to about a half an inch to an inch a lot of times because that it takes the temperature better. If it's a little bit thicker, it won't it will get the heat the heat cracks like that one did. Now here's one that had another pot lid off of it. And I think these might be it that came out of there. Usually when it does that, there's a crystal, or it's not going to take the heat, so I'll test this one a little bit. Looks okay there, so far. A lot of times if there's a little bit of a crack that runs into the flint, the heat will penetrate it faster than the outside surface. And in that crack, it expands it, and that's what cracks it a lot of times. It looks to be okay, but so that might be 
just to follow along. A lot of times, like a little crystal pocket will make it pot lid, and 